Hi guys, Scott here. So I get the question pretty often for folks that are looking to get into the self-storage business. Scott, what do I do? Do I need to develop a facility? Should I go out and buy an existing facility? What's the best way to get into the business and what are the pros and cons of each? Well, I like to buy existing facilities because we have cash flow from day one and that's the quickest way to get into the business versus development side where you have to buy a piece of ground then you have to go through the zoning process and build it and the cash flow comes a lot later in the process. Uh, but also with an existing facility, if you're buying an existing facility, you have the ability to look at the track record and the history of the performance of that facility as well and accurately predict what it's going to do in the future, which is also good from the lending side because the banks these days, they're not loaning on too many development properties right now. That's more on the speculative side. But if you can show a track record and a strong performance and a history on an existing site, they're much more apt to give you the loan on an existing facility. So pros and cons of each on the development side. Uh, one of the benefits of developing is that you actually get to be the first to market. If you're going into an area where there's no competition or in the path of progress in a particular market, you can be the first one, have the best uh, site selection, build the latest and the greatest, and uh, beat them to the punch, beat your competitors to the punch. But also, if you're building a facility, you know exactly what you're getting. Whereas when you're buying a facility from somebody else, you, you may be buying somebody's unforeseen problems or issues that even though you did an awful lot of homework, that um, something may crop up after you buy it. So on the development side, there are no surprises because you've built it and you've been along in the process and um, there won't be anything that's unforeseen that will come up that is uh, out of the ordinary that will surprise you. I like to do both. That's the strategy that we've used and that we buy existing facilities so that we have cash flow from day one and then we buy these facilities that have existing ground vacant ground that we can build additional buildings and so the best of both worlds having cash flow from day one but then the ability to create some value and force the appreciation through the development side which as everybody knows in real estate is truly the way to be able to create value and wealth which is to develop so we're also looking at doing some other development opportunities where we are buying pieces of ground with one or two buildings on it converting those to self-storage facilities getting some cash flow right away and then developing the rest so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about both buying existing facilities and developing or building additional buildings on sites, our next Self Storage Academy coming up August 26th through the 28th here in Indianapolis, we're going to be focusing on just that, how to go out and buy existing facilities, but then we're also going to visit some of my development sites as well to learn what it takes to be able to develop a site. So if you want to find out more information and to sign up, log on to www.selfstorageinvesting.com. That's www.selfstorageinvesting.com. Dot com and click on the live events button to find out more about our three-day self storage academy coming up in Indianapolis, August 26th through the 28th. I look forward to seeing you there. This has been Scott Myers with another self storage quick tip.